Are your games feeling sluggish with high CPU usage and barely any load on your GPU? What if the real fix isn't new hardware but a few powerful settings hidden deep inside your windows? Today, we are digging into the tweaks that unleash your GPU and stop your CPU from choking. Get ready because your gaming performance is about to change completely. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Let's dive in. So guys, the first step is disable power throttling. When power throttling is active, the system restricts your CPU to save energy, which can create heavy CPU load, poor responsiveness, and uneven GPU usage during gameplay. To turn this feature off permanently, press Windows plus R to open the run box, type gpedit.msc, then press enter to open the local group policy editor. From the left panel, follow this path. Computer configuration, administrative templates, system, power management, and then power throttling settings. Inside this section, open the option named turn off power throttling. Set it to enabled, then confirm it by selecting apply and OK. This adjustment tells Windows to stop holding back your CPU so it can maintain its full performance at all times. Once this is done, games usually run more smoothly because the CPU no longer spikes to 100% for no reason and the GPU finally gets the workload it needs, resulting in better frame stability, faster system response and overall improved gaming performance. Alright guys, another important step in solving high CPU and low GPU usage is tuning the NVIDIA control panel so your graphics card runs at full strength during gameplay. The panel includes several hidden performance controls that decide how your GPU behaves under load and are ready to deliver maximum FPS. Start by opening the NVIDIA control panel, then choose Manage 3D settings from the left side. In the Global Settings tab, apply a few key changes. Set Low Latency Mode to Ultra. This reduces the delay between your actions and what appears on screen, giving you sharper and more responsive controls. Change Power Management Mode to prefer maximum performance. This keeps your GPU at higher clock speeds instead of letting it slow down when the workload changes. For anyone using OpenGL software, choose the dedicated NVIDIA GPU under OpenGL Rendering GPU to make sure all rendering tasks use the correct processor. Turn VSync off to remove frame rate caps and reduce input lag although you can try adaptive if screen tearing becomes distracting. After adjusting everything, click apply so the settings take effect. These changes push the GPU into a consistent high performance state, allowing it to take on more of the workload, which balances CPU and GPU usage. As a result, games usually feel smoother, FPS becomes more stable, and sudden drops in performance are less likely to occur. Another helpful step for balancing CPU and GPU usage is installing the Fix High CPU and Low GPU pack, which you can download with a single click from the link in the description. After downloading it, start by opening the CPU Optimization folder. This section contains several registry tweaks and scripts designed to improve CPU responsiveness, reduce unnecessary background activity, and prevent your processor from spiking during gameplay. Apply every file one by one because each tweak targets a different part of Windows resource management and skipping any of them can limit the overall impact. When you are finished, move to the CPU priority folder. Here you will see two folders, one for Intel processors and one for AMD. Open the folder that matches your system, 
then run the optimization file inside. This automatically adjusts Windows process handling so that gaming tasks receive higher priority while background apps use fewer CPU cycles. This shift helps eliminate the common issue where the CPU gets overloaded while the GPU sits underused. Next, open the GPU registry tweaks folder. Start with the file named Gaming Performance Registry and apply it by selecting Yes and then OK. This creates a stronger performance baseline for your GPU across all games. You will also find two additional files, Low Medium Optimization and Medium High Optimization. The Low Medium option is ideal for budget or mid-range GPUs, while the Medium High file works better for stronger hardware. After that, enter the GPU Thread Tweaks folder. You will see dedicated files for NVIDIA, Intel and AMD. Choose the one that matches your GPU, then install it the same way. NVIDIA users should run NVIDIA Thread Optimization, which improves how the GPU handles multi-threaded workloads. These thread tweaks help your graphics card distribute work more efficiently, resulting in smoother gameplay and higher overall GPU usage. At this stage, you can move on to the quick CPU tool included in the pack, which is extremely useful if you are dealing with unstable FPS, slow input response, or a processor that ramps to 100% too quickly. Open quick CPU, and look for the System Power Plan menu at the top. Select Ultimate Performance from the list because this plan removes power saving rules and allows your processor to stay at maximum capability. This instantly makes gameplay smoother and helps stabilize both FPS and system responsiveness. Scroll down to the Core Optimization section and adjust the sliders to unlock your CPU completely. Set core parking to 100%, which prevents Windows from disabling any cores while you are gaming. Set performance to 100%, so the processor always operates at full strength. Keep frequency scaling at 100%, so your clock speeds remain high even under heavy load. Push Turbo Boost to 100% so your CPU can break past base speeds whenever extra performance is needed. After changing everything, click Apply, then OK to save the configuration. Next, open the Advanced CPU Settings panel. Make sure Turbo Boost is enabled because this gives your processor the flexibility to boost higher during demanding scenes. Turn on Enhanced Intel Speedstep technology, which improves performance scaling by adjusting speed based on real-time demand without slowing down input response. Finally, enable turbo power limits so the CPU can draw the power it needs for heavy gaming tasks without artificial restrictions. When you close Quick CPU, all changes stay active. These tweaks make your processor more responsive, reduce random CPU spikes and help distribute workload more efficiently, which leads to smoother gameplay and a better balance between CPU and GPU usage. Now guys go into the MSI folder, open the MSI mode utility tool included in the pack. Right click the file and select run as administrator because the tool needs full system access to adjust low level device settings. Once it opens, look under the display adapters list and find your GPU. You only need to make two key adjustments here. First, enable MSI mode, which switches your GPU from the older interrupt system to a faster message based method. This upgrade improves communication between the CPU and GPU, reducing micro delays and making the system feel more responsive during gameplay. Second, set the interrupt priority to high so the GPU receives priority over background processes, keeping it more active when rendering heavy scenes. When both settings are applied, click apply to save your changes. 
After this, your system will handle GPU tasks more efficiently. You will see higher and steadier GPU usage, fewer performance dips, and a smoother overall gaming experience. Now guys, if you're facing lag, ping spikes, or unstable connections in your online games, the Gear Up Booster is the perfect tool to fix those issues. Here is how to use it. Alright guys, in the next step, we will adjust system configuration settings to make sure your CPU uses its power correctly. Many players overlook this part of Windows and end up dealing with low FPS, random stutters and unstable performance. Start by opening the Windows search bar, typing system configuration and then selecting it from the results. Inside the tool, open the boot tab and click the advanced options button. In the new window, enable the checkbox for number of processors. Then choose the highest number available in the drop-down. This tells Windows to activate every CPU core during startup, which improves boot speed and ensures the processor is ready to run at full strength as soon as the system loads. Confirm with OK and return to the main system configuration window. Next, switch to the Services tab. Check the box that says hide all Microsoft services to avoid disabling anything important for Windows. You will now see only third party services. Go through the list and disable anything that is not essential such as update assistance, software launches or background utilities that constantly run in the background and drain CPU resources. After unchecking what you do not need, click apply and then ok restart your pc to activate the changes once this tweak is complete your cpu will have more available resources and far fewer background tasks competing for power this helps the processor stay steady under load reduces stuttering increases fps stability and makes your overall gaming experience much smoother so guys, another important step is adjusting the built-in Windows graphics settings to make sure your games always use the dedicated GPU instead of relying on integrated graphics. This simple change improves real-time rendering, boosts GPU usage and helps smooth out frame pacing. Right-click your desktop and open Display Settings. Once it's open, scroll down to the Related Settings section and select Graphic Settings. This panel controls how Windows handles GPU assignments for different apps and games. At the top, check for the option called Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. If it appears on your system, turn it on. This feature allows Windows to pass some rendering tasks directly to the GPU instead of the CPU, which lowers latency and makes graphics handling more efficient, especially in newer titles. Now assign your games to run in high performance mode. On the choose an app to set preference, select desktop app, then click browse. Navigate to the main executable file of your game, for example, for Fortnite, go to the Fortnite game installed folder and select Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping.x. After adding it, click options next to its name and choose high performance, then save the setting. This forces the game to always use your dedicated GPU rather than integrated graphics. Repeat these steps for other games you play, such as Counter-Strike 2 or Valorant, to make sure each one uses the correct GPU profile. Once you finish, Windows will properly prioritize your graphics card for gaming tasks, resulting in higher GPU usage, improved frame rates, and fewer stutters or slowdowns while playing. That's it for today's guide. Apply these tweaks and watch your CPU and GPU work in perfect harmony. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share for more performance tips.